Cheers, everyone. John Smale here again. Uh, this is the Smale's Pace blog. I was cracking myself up yesterday doing that um, episode on, on the menus at Smale's Pace. I was cracking up because how inexpensive, how cheap everything was. Let's use the word cheap. Uh, and then I, I was thinking about it afterwards. And I think, well, you know, it's all relative, I suppose. I was talking to a friend of mine in the States, and, and we grew up together in high school. And... Uh, Let's say beer was 25 cents in 1970. We used to buy a tray of 20 for $5. So if I said a corned beef sandwich at Smales Pace was 70 cents, maybe there's a relativity in there. The reason a lot of restaurants fail is because they don't charge enough and they're not very good at inventory control and menu pricing. Uh, Sheila Heller, one of the waitresses, uh, wrote me and said, John, you were so uh, diplomatic. You had us involved in, in menu pricing. And she said, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but it's, it's costing versus selling price. So the experience is that you're supposed to uh, charge three times as much for what you, let's say if you spend 25 cents on an apple, you're supposed to sell that apple in your restaurant for 75 cents. That's if you want to make a profit. Uh, now, Putting that aside, and, and where did we shop? Well, we like to buy fresh foods, and in London, Ontario, there was a, a market within walking distance, maybe three blocks of Smail Space. It was called Covent Garden Market. On the bottom uh, left-hand side there, you'll see an old photograph of it. It's very, very hard to find photos from the, from the 70s, what Covent Garden Market looked like. It was in behind Simpsons and in behind the main street, which was uh, Dundas Street. There's a modern picture of what Covent Garden Market looks like now, and that's in the upper corner there, and it's like, whoa, it looks like St. Lawrence Market. It's all fancy. Now, we used to buy, uh, we, had a, we had a red wagon, and the girls went shopping in the morning, and they'd, they'd go to Covent Garden Market and buy fresh vegetables and fruit and, and uh, breads, our famous uh, thick-sliced breads, etc. When I... And then the other part of, of shopping was in Kensington Market in Toronto. And you'll see those two photos there of Kensington, which still looks like that. It still has that charm. The one with the red awning there, um, you'll see the CN Tower in the background. Well, the funny thing is the CN Tower wasn't there when I was going to Kensington Market back in the 70s, uh, where I would buy, uh, I'd go to a Jewish bakery and buy real bagels and uh, go to the cheese store and buy fantastic imported cheeses and then I'd uh, buy strudels and uh, all kinds of things that were maybe um, very unique to Toronto and very new to London, Ontario. So we had a lot of fun with that. Um, <laughs> at Covent Garden Market, there's a funny story. We had a lot of loyalty the, with the, the vendors that we dealt with and uh, one, one day, I don't know which, uh, Paysetta it was that went shopping and she bought beef for the uh, beef stew, let's say, and uh, you buy some chuck and you cut it up in squares, etc. And she brought it back and she was trying to brown it up in the pan and get it ready, you know, for uh, uh, that day's lunch or maybe the next day's lunch so it would get on some flavors. But anyway, the beef wouldn't brown. Now, I just read an article in Esquire magazine saying the article was called They Eat Horses, Don't They? And horse meat apparently does not brown. Oh, this is fresh in my mind. So I was freaking out and I was angry and I'm going to go down there and tell you those guys a piece of my mind. Well, I, that's exactly what I did. And I, I never lose my temper. But that day I was really upset that this would happen to us, to this, you know, dealing with this loyal vendor. They laughed and laughed at John Smale. And they, they, everybody was gathering around them and they're telling everybody, he thinks it's horse meat. And they said, what we were doing, we were making corned beef. And it, when you make corned beef, you put all these spices on the, on the table and you roll the meat in it. And it's a kind of a preservative, but it, it turns the, the beef bright red, which we associate with corned beef and pastrami and smoked beef. So, <laughs> so I was not serving horse meat and they, they thought it was a great gag. That's my, uh, that's my chat for today, talking about where we bought food at Smales Pace and, and how we were looking for the freshest and, uh, ingredients. Talk to you soon. Cheers. Over and out.
拜。